We are smoking the train. Going to see the train. We got the smoke going in it. Coming out the chimney. And everywhere else. Just for a little bit, I'm back. I'm back for a little bit. Um, Janae is doing an errand and then she's gonna be back soon. I'm in the caboose and I'm just gonna, just doing a couple things. One, I'm uploading the video while I'm here. Worked on that yesterday and worked on some stuff at home, trying to get the patio cleaned up and different things, you know, home chores. And today I'm going to replace some of those loose deck boards with some two by sixes. But while she's doing her errands in town, I'm going to just do a quick hang up this, hang up a little shelf that's gonna be back here. Might as well utilize a little bit of this space. Just gonna put a little shelf, use some of these brackets. We were gonna use these brackets up here. Um, but Janae and I decided I don't think it might be overkill. We thought we may have needed them when we first uh, bought them. But after putting the boards up there, it's so secure, it's not going anywhere. So anyway, um, just going to hang this real quick. I don't think we videotaped much. Oh, I think the battery ran out. So what we did, in case I didn't video, we sprayed some of this um as you've seen on tv kind of spray in the areas that we originally had leaks which is the points of the antenna platform that connect to the uh, roof and this is the stuff the stuff we used i think it was 10 or 15 bucks liquid rubber in a can um so we used that for up here. It actually didn't go as far as I thought. I thought I'd be able to spray a lot more and just kind of like really, but that can's almost out. I'm going to save the last little bit for on top of the caboose. So anyway, um, so we did that. We, we hung the second line of metal up here. These are going to be where lights are going to go up to the top here. We got some sconce lights that we ordered. I think it was yesterday or day before. You know, day before, I think. Um, and then we're going to have this as the external, the top one, external lighting pipe and electrical. It's going to go right into that spot up there, into that corner. And that's a three quarter hole where, if you remember what I did before uh, last week or so, it was, um, that was a half inch hole on this side. So we were able to switch it to a half or a th three quarter size. So much easier to r run um, with a wire through it. So. in October, Jason's day. There was a funny, saw on the Facebook of Jason holding a balloon. This was his celebration day. <laughs> um, I love Halloween. Janae's not big into Halloween, but I love Halloween.
Alright, babe. Tell them what we're doing today. Oh, I didn't know that was on. I'll just try to tell them. Lots of wood. Well, we cleaned out the box wood. car and we just threw stuff in there, so it was Oh, yeah, we did that. Yeah. Oh. That's what made it a mess. Yeah, we did that. When was that? A couple, few days ago, right? Mm -hmm. We spent pretty much the day, or half a day, cleaning out the box car. The weather's perfect. Usually it's like super cold or super hot, it seems like, whenever we decide we want to clean that thing, organize it. Um, in fact, I came across an old memory box with this little toy in there that I made, and I think it was, I'm. 99% sure that was my, if I remember, it's been 30 years ago, more than 30, 35 years ago, that it, even longer, maybe 37 years ago, <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting old. I think that was my first woodshop project. I think in, it was either starting in, I think freshman, maybe sophomore year of high school, and I don't remember exactly, but I think that was the first project we had to do. We couldn't choose. We had. I, I think everybody had to do the same, or there was like two options to to make, and so I went with the top spin. So it's pretty cool. In fact, I took a picture of it. Maybe I'll post it right here. Um, <laughs> so it was fun. It was kind of cool to come across that, um, and still had it in a box packed away for years. Anyway, so we organized the box car and. It feels good to have that cleaned out. We might have to get a mice trap in there too because we saw little mice droppings. So we gotta keep those guys, those little pests out of there. All right, and then my daughter came up. So I went down to the valley yesterday for her, what do they call it? Gender reveal. Gender reveal. So she is pregnant with her second child, and we're gonna have another girl for grandbaby. So two little daughters with Tiffany, and then um, but she came back up. She's staying up here a week, so we may not be doing too much in here. Maybe taking some more breaks to hang out with her. We've got to get this done. But we gotta get this done. Yeah, the cupola. So we're gonna frame the cupola up here. We can't really do anything else because we don't have the lights yet. Yeah, we ordered, we ordered lights for the lantern lights and we're going to do lights up here in the cupola. And we ordered a small ceiling fan that's kind of industrial looking. And we're thinking that might help because it gets warm up in this area and maybe just ventilate this a little bit better. So it'd be better to do it now than try to add something like that later with all this pipe. So if we don't like it, we could just put a cap on the the top and it'll still look industrial so I'd rather do it now um, if we don't like it we'll just take it back we can do this pipe though right um, that one no not until we get the so she's pointing at this pipe which we did a few days ago um, all this pipe all the way down except for the very end I had to pick, do some more painting of pipe so that's not done I'm gonna finish that soon this week sometime but this this right here babe this is where we're gonna be putting a sconce light that we picked out right here and before I draw that pipe and bring that pipe up oh, I want I need to know to how see. we're gonna do the wood because it's exterior lighting and we're gonna have to do some sort of box like this and I was thinking maybe even a half size and do two of the uh, uh, three-quarter inch boards instead of a one and a half plus a three-quarter so that's what I'm thinking for the box for that one because we want it. We don't want it to stick out as far. This one we didn't mind it sticking out because we're gonna have tables and stuff under here, so they could come out more. All right. So today we are gonna seal it. We did the seal. I think I've got it on video the other day. Now we're gonna put the framing up, insulation. And we already cut the boards for the top, so should be done by the end of today. Next few hours. If not, we'll finish it tomorrow. Because we didn't know we were going to spend an hour out and a half probably on I know. Cleaning. cleaning this uh, commercial building. We got so much wood. And uh, and we've got a sleigh. Did we? I didn't take a video of this sled. Uh -huh. So yeah, we bought a, a 
Christmas sleigh. All right, so we ran out of battery yesterday and didn't film a lot, but we did get the two by threes in. Okay. Maybe you can use that hammer to hold it up. Yeah, if you got it right now. Yeah. back and been busy with my daughter and grandbaby up here this weekend or not weekend the whole week 
and they're leaving tomorrow, but we got to want to get a few things done today to just keep it going. Short day, and then we have a party with friends tonight. Pumpkin carving party. I like seeds. I can't stand carving pumpkins. <laughs> oh yeah, we can keep the seeds and cook them. Yeah, get some seeds. All right, we are right now going to, we, we did have to wait a little bit too for our next step. So it kind of worked out. Um, we got a lot of stuff. We've got new lights. And we got these sconce type lights that are long, industrial kind of looking. And, um, and then we also have a ceiling fan that the camera's resting on. And we don't know for sure if we're gonna use this or not. So we're going to actually take it out of the box after we're done. Yeah, let's this thing. do it. Not right now, let's yeah, get these babe. stained first. Baby, that's not exciting. And then, um, I want to see it. And then we got curtains, yeah, which cute. we're gonna get hung up today too. So let's get these finished so they All can get right. dry. And I gotta cut these holes. So that's what I'm All working the on. us today yeah she came to work with papa and mimi we went to see the red bar and now we're watching mimi stain and papa hit wood with the same and papa being loud <laughs> hey she fell asleep through it okay lights are coming on monday Curtains look really cute, not too bad. And then we hung up a clock. We thought it was a little bit bigger, but this will work out because if there's a table underneath, it won't get in the way, it won't feel like it's overcrowded. It's gonna be about the same size as the lanterns that will be right here anyway. So it's probably better than it ended up being smaller than we thought uh, without taking the actual measurements on it. All right. And then tomorrow, I'm going to take my daughter to the airport. Her and Janae had some fun at the little, uh, they had some sort of, I think, yeah, they can see tents and stuff over there. I think they had something that we could hear a singer, but they went over there. I guess there's pumpkin stuff and bounce house and some vendor booths. It's at the Red Barn. It's a big flea market over there. And they only run it during the summer. I think they close at the end of October. So, but it turned out pretty cool so far. These curtains are actually really nice. We do have a little piece that we're gonna do right here in the end that will cap it off, and that just kind of brings the in <clears throat> industrial look out a little bit more. Um, but the size-wise, these were 20 or no, these were 30-inch curtains. We got a 30 inch rod and that fit over just perfect. You can see the wood underneath. It's um, turned out pretty good. That was Janae's picking out of the curtains. The ribbon, we both agree, is kind of on the more of a white side where this is more off white. But we could do something to it, maybe um, throw it in some stain, let it get stained up a little bit. And then. Um, do something and put it back on or something so figure that out later and i think janae already did some videotape but we cleaned up everything that was up here and just um with stain i mean stain the i didn't do the dark stain touch-ups but we did do the fireplace on top so I think we're going to spray the top of that concrete when we're done too. 
In fact, I'll go and make do it today. Because we're done cutting wood and stuff in here other than putting trim, but we're not going to cut the wood in here. So I think as far as sanding and all that, we're done. So Nice. Nice, nice.